disaster. <laughs> really bad because people is late or they don't follow the rules they need a visa but they don't bring the visa this kind of so <laughs> 안녕하세요 스페인에서는 파울라입니다 인년에 왔어요 팀원이었어요 I work for different airlines but mostly my main job was for Aeromexico and Etihad 힘들었어 완전 좋았어요 스페인 공항에서 한국 비행기 완전 좋아요 we like in Chongkonghan flight because Korean people is really easy to talk to and they have really good manner. So whenever we have a Barcelona Incheon flight, we are so happy because we know there's not gonna be any kind of trouble while doing it. We don't have to fight, people's gonna be with the passport ready, they already know what they want and they don't ask for too many things, so it's really fast. <laughs> <laughs> they already know when the food is coming for the airplane, so all the tables are down. <laughs> Usually, like when you serve for an American or European flight, the flight attendants have to ask one by one, like, oh, what kind of food do you want to eat? Do you want a fish? Do you want a meat? For Koreans, they already know, so they just do it like all together. They don't have to go one by one talking to everybody. For Korean people, they already give you the cup. It's not like, oh, excuse me, can I have some water? It's like, <laughs> Always ready for food and drinks. <laughs> Korean flights are always easy to do, like unless there's a really big problem, like cancel flight or really delayed flight. Something like the passenger is gonna feel like really uncomfortable with. Korean people don't complain about anything. Usually for us uh, in Barcelona airport, when you are with them, it's really easy to talk with them because they are really polite and they like. They don't talk that much, so they're scared about talking to you. So they prepare everything like the passport and the boarding pass and they show you everything. Usually with this kind of Korean flight, like anywhere that you go for Korea, it's really easy to do. Like you don't feel stressed at all because they're always ready <laughs> for the flight. They know what they have to do. They're not gonna ask you like, where's the boarding aid? Where's the toilet? Or can I do this? Can I do that? They just like do it straight without asking you. So they don't give you any burden and they don't give us any stress. They're really kind. In Barcelona, whenever I tried to speak Korean with them, my Korean was really bad back then. Like now it's bad, but before was way worse. So I couldn't even say hello properly. So whenever I had a Korean flight, I would always try to say like, oh, 안녕하세요, or 어디로 가세요, or like, so they always, oh my God, can you speak Korean? Oh, how, what's your name? How, where are you from? Like this kind of, they're always really kind of like, oh, do you want a coffee? Are you tired? Oh, you might be tired today. I hope you have a really good job. Like, this kind of, they're always really, really kind, really. Caring? Yeah, they're really caring. Even though we don't know each other, just the fact that I try to talk with them in their language, which is really difficult language for us, they just feel like really grateful and like, they're always gonna be kind to you. I don't really have bad experiences with Korean passengers. The order for the boarding gate usually is really clean and polite. They usually can put their luggages in order so they don't have to wait. They just go sit and put the baggage so they can just go there whenever they say, oh, the plane is ready, you can now start boarding. It's really weird, <laughs> but I like it. Korean people don't like waiting. I realized that they don't like to be waiting in the line for a flight that it's still 50 minutes. So rather than standing there with the bag and like with the cell phone, they prefer sitting like on the other side. So they just put the bag in there and go sit. If you leave your bag unattended, you have the risk of someone taking it. It's and we cannot be like looking at everybody's luggage. Like everybody have to be careful with their own stuff, right? So in Korea you can do it, but in Barcelona I don't recommend you, because your bag might be missing. And actually, for security procedures we don't recommend that because of terrorism, because we had many bombs inside the bag. So the police is gonna take your luggage and inspect it if they see a luggage like that. I don't recommend it. <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> Everything is fast with Korean flights. <laughs> you don't need to worry about being late because it's not gonna happen. They always punctual, like they always come to the check-in counters on time. There's no late people, no people who's gonna lose the flight because it's not normal for them. And they never uh, have overweight luggage. So you don't have to keep telling them, oh, your bag is three kilos overweight, please remove. No, they have everything like 23 kilos, 23 kilos, 23 kilos, which is the maximum. It's perfect. Everything is perfect. That's why I said like Korean flights for me are the, like, the perfect thing to do for work.
They are disaster. <laughs> if I, it depends on the nationality, but I can promise you that depending on the flight that you do, everything works so different. Like it can be a good flight, it ends up really bad because people is late or they don't follow the rules. They need a visa, but they don't bring the visa. This kind of, yes, it, it happens a lot. Or they know that they can only bring 23 kilos, but they were like 50 in two different bags and they have to pay and they don't want to pay. This kind of problem keeps happening with foreign like flight. I could name like few countries, but I don't want to get in trouble. So <laughs> usually not, they like, if they know it. If I need a visa, I'm gonna bring my visa and it's gonna be perfect. If I need the passport, I'm gonna bring the passport. Some people in Europe, because we're European, right? So if we want to travel other cities, like we don't need passport, we need ID, right? European ID. So they think that they, when they fly abroad Europe, they can use their ID rather than passport. So this kind of problem happens a lot, but Korean people, they know. I need a passport, I need my boarding pass, I need my bag, which is gonna be 23 kilos. And they respect all the rules. They usually like, even for the seat, they only gonna ask you like, oh, can I please have a window? But it's okay if you don't have it. Just, just, can I have a window? This kind of... <laughs> They're usually like polite and organized. And there's no problem with them. They're like pretty calm. They know how everything works pretty well. You don't need to like tell them. 오늘은 승무원하면서 느꼈던 한 느낌 듣지 얘기했습니다. 영상이 좋았다면 좋아요, 구독 부탁드립니다. Bye bye.